shrink me, take me back to 16, erase the notches in the doorway, a regression of growth. Trapped in heavy oak, purchased for formality, straight backed hawks study the patchwork of their flesh, all slumped shoulders and downturned eyes. Lingering by the food platters and plastic cups, waiting patient for a polite, excuse me, to pardon me to another room with the same old wallpaper. Another unsettling topic. Another once a year conversation treating language like landmines. Another tongue in cheek smile at this grown man's attacks on the fire that characterizes my speech. You are just like an angry feminist. I am just like, like rightfully angry, like my body rightfully seethes at the years of patriarchal power coddling your tongue, like, like your assumptions that the ticks of a language alive and changing are invalid because a white man in your image should not make them holy is like, like bullshit. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Like, your feminism doesn't work because what if I was trapped in a burning building and a weak woman firefighter couldn't get me out? Like, women aren't bred from birth to be seen more docile, less muscle, softer, quieter, and you see a woman who breaks these norms as ugly, as butch, as never gonna get a man, like you are so caught up in your own pissing contest you don't notice the wind changing, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Bless her heart, if only she would have stayed home. Bless her heart, her largeness could not be confined to your dollhouse walls. Bless her heart, making room for a loudmouth daughter that you did not have the strength to hear. Bless her heart, becoming two for a man that could not buy his own groceries. Bless my mother's astronomical heart for allowing us to be large, fearsome she-beasts to scare you at dinner parties. Sorry. 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 <laughs> How cute! Little girl left home and took up slam poetry to gain street cred, chanting for new causes claimed like she wasn't born a silver spoon. Like a woman is too dense to see beyond her own perspective. Like your choice to live all shotgun shell and burnt out badge is somehow bigger than all of the issues above all of the criticism. Like it is a sin for me to use my voice like a sledgehammer to use this mouth for anything other than soothing self-destructive white men like you. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry my words are not cough drops melting slow swallows to smooth cherry centers. Sorry my voice burns like sandpaper tearing away your comfort. Sorry if the blood and skin you stole from martyrs stains the doilies with your ability to laugh, laugh this off. Sorry I won't learn to love like you love at, at arm's length out of obligation. obligation. Sorry you cannot shrink me. Sorry I won't let you shrink me. I won't let you shrink me.